Now at 5.30, a developer has pulled out of a housing project in Fremont, leaving big questions over what can be done with the property. Good evening. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. That land is on Mission Boulevard between Witherly Lane and Pine Street. KPI X5's John Ramos on why a plan for hundreds of apartments and townhomes ran into a wall of resistance. It's the great dilemma of the Bay Area, where to put more people when you don't have room for the ones you already have. Ohlone College in Fremont owns 15 acres of open land along Mission Boulevard. The district partnered with a developer called Steelwave LLC to design the Village at Mission Walk, a 257-unit housing and commercial development. Were you folks excited about the prospects of this proposal? Um, we thought it was a beautiful project, yes, absolutely. The district planned to lease the land to Steelwave. It would create more housing near the college and provide a steady stream of income for an institution facing a huge money shortfall in about two years. It's about $5.4 million, or almost 11% of our budget. But there is one problem. Almost no one in this quiet neighborhood wants the new houses, and that's because this is what it looks like at 4 o'clock. Cars lined up as far as the eye can see, many of them using Mission Boulevard as a shortcut off of crowded Freeway 680. It'll take like 25 minutes just to get from here to the freeway, and it's pretty close. Like, it's only like two miles, right? Yeah, like within a mile probably. So saying you want to add another 250 homes are fighting words to those who live and work around here. It's a fight the developer didn't want, and Steelwave has officially canceled the project. It's bad enough without it. I couldn't imagine people coming in and out. I, I would never be able to get to school. I live here for 30 years. I never change <laughs> since, since I moved out here. I so you don't want to see things change? I don't want to see things too much uh, change uh, too rapidly. And city officials weren't keen on the project either. They want to turn this into a downtown area, although how that wouldn't worsen traffic, no one can say right now. They only know they don't want this project, so it's back to the drawing board for Ohlone College. So what can the college do with this land? They really don't know. There's nothing they can build here that won't make traffic worse and raise the ire of the community. In Fremont, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Ohlone College is still facing a huge deficit. The superintendent says they are now looking into the possibility of a parcel tax to raise the money they need.